Not a good day to renew your driver's license. Computer problems made it impossible for some state agencies to do their jobs. After four hours, though, things did get back on track. Here's Brandon Brook. Courtney, everything is operational and back to normal, but it did affect a lot of people for quite some time. 30 minutes to hour. <laughs> That's how long Quincy Bonds expected to be waiting in the DMV on Tatonia Avenue today. This is not normal <laughs> right here, so yeah, I, I expect to be more packed on Friday. Statewide computer system problems, a huge sign read as soon as you walk in the front door, leaving plenty of empty chairs inside. Something's going wrong. The state says all agencies affected were connected to a malfunctioning hardware system. The issue left the DMV with the inability to provide IDs and licenses to customers. It's crazy, that's what I had to say, and I'm real mad. It's just a frustrating situation. There's nothing, I mean, we're all in that together. There's nothing more we can do. Some weren't as upset. It's not a problem. We know the system's imperfect, so this is just part of it. State technicians identified the problem and worked with the vendor to fix it after a four-hour outage. The state says it has backup plans to be used when something isn't working. A supervisor does expect for lots of traffic at certain DMV locations tomorrow. I'm going to try and come back tomorrow. It's just a hassle more than anything. Not everything was shut down. Customers were able to renew their tags and get their titles. From the DMV, Brandon Brook, today's TMJ4. Yeah, a lot of people are going to come back tomorrow, right, Brandon? Thank you.